Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf with an awesome tip. First of all, it's 100 degrees out here in beautiful South Carolina. And the only reason it's 100 degrees is because this tip is so hot, it's gonna change your life, your golf game forever. So here we go. If you remember, we were talking about the right forearm last week and the significance of the right forearm I'm sorry, last week we were doing the putting, but you know, before that I gave you my best tip ever. And I spent a lot of time thinking about how to follow up the best tip ever. It took me so long, it took me two weeks to figure out what to give you for the, after the best tip ever. Anyways, the best tip ever is we need to train this right forearm. Once you've got it nice and loaded, like the previous tip I gave you, we get the right forearm loaded in the backswing. If you haven't seen that tip, check it out before you do this one. So we get the right forearm loaded, and then we need to do something with all this energy. And with all this new energy we have, we have to train a different way to hit the golf ball. It's not gonna be your standard way of hitting the golf ball where you feel like a high five so much as I've taught you in the past. This way is actually a little bit different. It's going to be like you're punching, you're karate punching something, boom. Like Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris style. So. I'm going to hit a shot here using my right forearm as the guide. It's the sole guide of the backswing and the downswing. Don't worry about anything else. Okay, I hit a shot there, pretty powerful. And what we're going to do is we need, you're going to learn how to use this. So you have built up this nice new right forearm. If you remember from the previous video, the only conditions for the right forearm to be effective in the backswing that we need, one, you set up with a connection under your upper right arm. Right here, seal that deal. Two, left arm stays straight. And three, we need to fold that right arm around that connection point. So there's no moving of this connection point. Just the upper right arm. It's gonna fold to a 90 degree angle. So that's just the basic summary of the previous tip. Well, from there, hitting, it's almost like we're skipping a stone or we're throwing our right arm at the ball like a hammer. You're punching it. The motion, once you've got it loaded, is to send the back of your hand into the ball. Just like that. And if you want to get that sensation, you've got it loaded here. So put it up, up 90 degrees and over. So up 90 bring it over, it's loaded, just begin to punch, punch forward. That's the sensation that you're having straight up and down here, or we're standing straight up and down. When we get over the golf ball though, we need to train this motion. So here's how you do it. You fold your right forearm up, you punch the golf ball. You'll see that I can control my point of contact with my right arm. This is my dominant arm, my strong arm. I can choose with this new punching motion, I could send it back here. I could send the club into the ground back here. I could send it in too far out in front of me. It's very easy to choose. Once you get used to the feeling, you can pick the same spot of contact every single time. It's amazing. So here we go. One-handed shots is the best way to train this. You're gonna fold the right forearm up, punch the golf ball. That was perfectly clean. You're folding it up, punching the golf ball at the spot, hitting the ball first, taking a divot. Once you do that about three times, take that same impact feeling, the same feeling you got from this. The same feeling. After two or three, then you get over the ball, you hit a full shot. Oh, that feels so good. Golfers and golfettes, we are utilizing a power source known as the right forearm. This is the true power source of the golf swing, the most powerful source you could ever use. And it's even more powerful than me telling, if anybody, if, you know, me telling you to move your weight forward, to get your downswing initiated like this, it's just in the arm. And just by simply extending that arm to the ball, you are generating a tremendous amount of club head speed you have complete control over how hard to hit it. 
by pushing that right forearm through. And the cool thing is your body reacts to everything. Some little, some little uh, flock notes at the end of this, some summary notes here. You want to use your dominant hand as the trail hand. So if you are a person who hits a hammer into a nail with your right hand, then you should be a right-handed golfer. If you hit it into a nail into a wall with a left hand using the hammer, you should be left-handed. They're your most powerful sources and you can also control the club face. So rely on, just take my advice. Now, if you are a left-handed or right-handed person and you're using, let's say you're right-handed and you're using your left hand as the power hand, you're going to struggle with maximizing your distance. So. Um, it might be time for a switch. If not, you can try and combine feelings like get the right forearm folded and pull the left hand through. That's what one of my students has done. But ideally, you should use the right hand as the dominant hand to hit the golf ball. All right, golfers and golfettes, Tom Segudo here with this might be the second hottest tip, even though it's 100 degrees outside on the hottest day. The hottest tip for y'all to have the best ball striking of your life. So go out there, have a rockin' week, and I will see you on the range. Look for this hat, it's hot. Load the forearm and go. Oh, it feels so good. All right, have a rockin' week. Thanks for tuning in.